Main focus is to come up with a bag. Ain't gonna be no slacking, ain't got time for none of that. Put it in their face. It, they already mad Disappear while I'm stacking And they be like Where you been? Make sure to lick a brown Drink it all up My channel It is your girl Shantae Shantae And I'm back with another video In this video I'm going to show to you guys My favorite One, two, three, four, five Deep conditioners For curly High porosity hair Some of them are masks Some of the, I consider them all Deep conditioners So I have obviously High porosity hair My hair is curly I can get in moisture But locking it And sealing it Is an issue So once it starts out It's nice It's luscious It's shiny By the end of the week It's like What's up with it So Of this group I would say that My favorite Is This Textures By Cantu Strengthening and Storing Moisture Mask This When I used it I had taking it from one of my roommates and I used it and I was like and you know me I use deep conditioners as leave-ins so this I can rock a leave-in with this and be bomb the consistency of it is a butter it ain't coming out it's like a thick cream it's a thick cream that you got going in here not so much butter consistency really great really love this it will definitely repurchase this the next one that i think is my big best this one i just got from girl plus hair love the smell of it it reminds me it's very minty or menthol -y. um so this has pimiento oil castor oil and tea tree oil and this is their ultimate hydrating hair mask for curls and coily hair girl it's called girl curl cloud sorry curl cloud and i this thing's got a nice dent in it this is very much more liquidy this one i don't know so much that i would leave this as a leave-in i haven't tried it yet but i think this one i would just solely do as a mask along with my affigy that i've been using for years and when i have blonde hair this is my go-to because i kept my hair super soft this again i really don't leave it in my hair i don't actually leave it in my hair because i feel like it's strong and i don't want too much protein could break off your hair but this is a life saver if your hair is damaged your hair is not moisturized get you some affigy products and this is one that i really really love and this doesn't really have um this is ph optimized and let's see the ingredients are well it just to say it adds strength softens quick and effective against heat and dam chemical damage so again for people who have that blonde or if you dye your hair this is really really great to after i bleach or dye my hair any times i deep condition for like a day or two and just keep deep conditioning bringing that moisture back in so this is something that really helps i love to use this like after a long time when my hair is like not feeling its best this really b brings it and bounces it really back really quickly and then you have a nice foundation to start on. I feel like if you don't feel your hair is feeling nice before you get out the shower, you're going to have to get a super strong deep conditioner to rebuild all of that. But when you do the necessary steps in the shower, like using this two minutes, and I leave this on for more than two minutes. Obviously, you can just do two minutes, but I leave it on for more than two minutes. And that's what gives me the best results. So this is another big one. Now, my next two are this Taraji P. Henson Mother Earth. I really like this. This is a clay mask. Again, I wouldn't leave this one in. So really, so far, only one I would leave in. It is orange. It smells like clay. It is it soft defines and defrizzes for wave curly coils. And this has kaolin clay, um, coconut oil, and apple cider vinegar. Uh, Mother Earth is a velvety, comforting clay mask that lovely wraps around your waves, curls, and coils, adding intense moisture to protect against dryness and damage. I use this, put it on for a good 30 minutes, clean up around the house, and then wash this out, and follow up with a really good intense leave-in conditioner, and then do my styling as I would naturally. This is really nice. It doesn't leave it like that clay that you think of when you think of like the Aztec clay mask. It doesn't leave my hair like that. It smells really nice, and it's got that apple cider vinegar that is really good for cleansing the scalp. And then coconut oil, which is really good. Some people don't really respond well to coconut oil. My hair doesn't respond if it's just solely coconut oil anymore. But in products, I'm okay. And I really like this deep conditioner. I got other products that I'm really not a fan of. I found that my hair flakes a lot with a lot of the other Taraji products. But this one here, I really did like. Then, the last two are 
these two brands here. So I'll start with this one that I really love, and this is the Afrotastic Curl Elastic from Sultanicals, and this is their deep conditioning. This is actually for um, low protein. So I think that was really interesting. It's a botanical cream, nutrient rich, deep conditioner, rehydrating and detangling thick, tress, um, thirsty tresses while adding comb through spread ability. ability. There are tons of ingredients, but I'll just name off. Uh, they have aloe, glycerin. So if you're not a fan of that, I will say I did like this on my hair. There's a lot, it's not really as cut and clean as the other products, but this I did like on my hair. My hair responded really well to this. I think this is one that smells like strawberries. Like strawberry cream skull. Yeah, but I'm not really smelling so much strawberry anymore. I'm definitely smelling heavy chemical. <laughs> but this I really, really loved. My hair really responded well to this. And I would leave this in as a leave-in. And then finally, I have this Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning No Sulfate Parabens. And this is a mask from Briogeo. Oh, I didn't show you guys the inside of this one. It's got like... A butter consistency as well now this briogeo is this is my new one this one smells oh my gosh this smells like their products have a distinct smell and when I think of this I just automatically think of me using the ooh, the kale apple and kale I think shampoo and conditioner um, this is obviously free of the big six and some main ingredients uh, same kind of list as the other ones nothing like uh, the aloe they kind of have the same ingredients in these two that's probably why I like them both so nothing like major that I can call out other things that are like oh radish root that's something cool wheat protein different things like that and a lot of times it's just big words for stuff that it could just literally just mean potato I like this one too of all of these like I said the Cantu is my favorite then I would go with the Affigy I kind of did them in the order of which I would do them. I might actually jump this guy to the end of the list only because for sure I would never be able to use it as a leave-in. But the other ones I could if I wanted to get away with leaving them as a leave-in except for the Affigy one. But I really do like these. This is definitely my favorite. It depends on what your needs are. For me, this is if I only had to buy one ever, this would be my go-to. But because I also have this one, and this is also good for when I'm really in need of a good, deep, deep conditioning, this will definitely help me out and make everything so much better. This is just good because, they sent, one, they sent it to me, and it's just a, a lovely product. I would love to use this with all the other products because the way that this leaves my hair is super soft and really nice. This deep conditioner here, I love the way that my curl pattern is when it's just wet off of a wash out the shower. That shows me like the best that it's really moisturizing and the curls are shrunken up. That means it's really getting moisturized and I really, really love this one. This as well too, I would usually just take this, I have the shower cap, I actually have the pack where you take a little bit of the cream, it comes with a shower cap, and then I would rinse it out a little bit, leave it in my hair, put tie my hair up, put the cap on, leave it overnight, and in the morning, add my styling cream and keep it moving, and that was really working for me for this. So this was definitely my really go-to for a while. And yeah, I really love these deep conditioners. I think that it's important to know that not only does your deep conditioner matter, but everything in the process, the way that you comb your hair, pulling at it too much causes a lot of friction and can damage the, your hair as well. I, again, only do my hair once a week, which I need to probably start doing at least twice, because I'm noticing that my hair is really craving that nourishment, and I really need to get back to doing that. So being more on top of that is a big thing, as well as making sure my conditioners and my deep condition, I mean my shampoos, are moisturizing. So I really like the systems that I have in place. I really love my Texture ID, their shampoo and conditioner too, that my hair really responds well to it. So that's like another thing to make sure that you're incorporating all the products. If you're doing serums in your hair, making sure you're trying to seal. I have so many oils now. You need to find the right remedy so that way I can get the longest stretch in my hair. But thus far, it is working out with these deep conditioners and they're really helping bring back that life into my hair. So I really love that. And yeah, this is just a really quick video to bring you guys, sorry my iPad, I cannot figure out how to turn the volume off on my iPad. But that is a really quick video to show you some of the products that I really love and that work for my high porosity hair. So I hope you guys go and check them out. And yes, I'll see you guys in the next video. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and let me know your favorite deep conditioners for high porosity hair. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!